Hey there! In this video, I want to show you how to create an EKS cluster. It might be simpler than you think. I like to use CloudFormation because that's scripted, that's easier. That's something that you can do again and again. You can create the cluster and you can delete it when you don't need it anymore. Be mindful about the costs. Creating a cluster is not for free, so make sure that you delete everything once you're done. So with that said, let's get started. Our cluster is going to need a dedicated VPC, so let's start with creating that. Then we'll create the actual cluster and then we'll verify everything is working with kubectl. AWS has nice documentation for how to set up a VPC. If you take a look here, you can see they have a YAML, they have a template. So if you download this template and open it up, this is going to create for us a VPC with two private and two public subnets. So here are some parameters. We have the VPC block, we have the two public subnets and we have the two private subnets. We don't need to know all these details, but at the bottom are some outputs. So we're going to need this as inputs into our cluster. So I already copied all this to a separate file and changed the outputs a bit so I can reuse them in my other scripts. So let's take a look. I split up the public and private subnets and exported them separately. I am exporting here the control plane security group ID for the worker nodes. And then I'm also exporting the VPC ID. Let's create the stack with the AWS CLI. AWS CloudFormation creates stack. This is the region, this is the stack name, and this is the file that we just created. But first, we have to select the profile that we're going to use. My profile is CopyCop. And now we should be able to run this. Okay, this looks good. And if we just take a look here. So the creation is in progress and we have some events going. The VPC is ready. Let's look into it. Let's look at the outputs. So here's the control plane, private subnets, public subnets and the VPC ID. So we're going to use these to create our cluster. AWS has a nice documentation for how to create the EKS cluster. You can either use the EKS CTL, which is a nice command line tool. You can use the AWS management console. That's rather tedious and you can't repeat the thing again and again. You can use the AWS CLI. And again, it's hard to repeat that. So we're going to take the recipe from in here and create a cloud formation template. I already did that behind the scenes, but let's take a look at what I wrote. Here are the parameters. We have the cluster name, number of nodes, and since this is just a hot beat test project, I'm just starting with one node here, and I'm using T2 Micro, and I'm using Kubernetes 1.22. You might tweak this based on the version that you're using. We need an EKS role to allow the cluster policy, and we need a role for our nodes and they need a bit more here. Here is the EKS cluster. So we have the name, version, the role that we defined above and the VPC configuration. So we have the security groups and this is imported from what we exported in the VPC. And then we have the subnets. Again, what we exported from the VPC, but since we exported a string, we're gonna need to split that up into an array. So we're using here the private subnet IDs. If this might be the purple lack, public subnet IDs if that's what you need. And here we have the node group. And similar here, here we have the EKS role, the number of nodes, and the private subnet IDs. So that's it. We're gonna use the AWS CLI to create the cluster. AWS CloudFormation creates stack. Here is the region. Here is the name of the stack. We are creating some roles. And here's our file. So let's run this. Right. Let's take a look. It's being created. Our cluster is ready. So we can go here and also see it in EKS. Here is the cluster. And let's look at the compute. It has one node. So let's open up our console and let's connect. So let's use the AWS CLI. So here we're updating our cube config to connect to this new cluster. All right, we're connected. So let's uh, kubectl get nodes.
This is looking good, we have a thruster that's up and running and we can connect to our nodes. That's it for this video, please remember to delete your stocks so you don't need to pay for them. In the next video I will deploy an application to the cluster and I will expose it via Ingress. Thank you all, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see you.